Okay, it's August 20th, and uh, I'm out here tying up different places, and or the trees, I should say, to where they grow in the right way they're supposed to. It's kind of like kids. Train them in the way they should grow, and, and that's the way they'll grow. Most of the time. But here's the pictures of my... I'm going to take a picture of each one of the trees. Sounds boring, but I just thought I'd keep you guys informed. Trees are doing good. Nice sunny day. I've tied them all, or the ones that need to be tied. So I just thought I would show each one and put it on YouTube. So some are smaller than others. Some of them are growing like bad weeds, but they're all doing good. And that's the good part. So. And as you can see, I've, as when I tie these back, I guess it gives me a wider angle so when they grow bigger, they'll hold their own. So that's what I'm trying to do. So, been out here all pretty much all morning. And uh, these trees are, I'm telling you, they're really looking good. So. As I walk down through each one of these, you'll see that how well they're growing. I've spread them out, you know, the branches, and that's what you got to do. They're growing good. New leaves are coming out the top. They'll probably do that till about mid-September, and then they'll quit. Start for fall. And from the looks of these trees, well, I'll probably end up with some cherries next year, I'm hoping. Especially the first 50. As you can see through when I go through this video, that the first 50 I'm walking through right now will be bigger than the other ones. So, not so much the following the ones I planted this year, but they're all doing really, really good. On Believably, I love them. Fruits of my labor, and it's getting better and better. I'm learning more as I go along, and that's the part I like. I'm learning. Never too old to learn. But look at that one. That is a great tree. I wish they're all like that, but not so much. <laughs> So, but some of these got to have to be trained more than others. As you can see, this one here, she's really being trained. And uh, we're working on them. There's a nice tree. But like I said, these are all the first years. So, what I call the second year trees. And like I said, they're... They're doing real good. Unbelievable. That's all I can say. They say sometimes you lose 10% of the trees when you plant. Well, thank the good Lord because I'll tell you that right now I haven't lost a one. I mean, I've been babying them like, like big babies. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's it's a new experience, it really is, and I'm enjoying it. So, of course, it, I'm doing it by when the, how much money I have. I'm doing it slowly. I don't try to overdo it. I uh, wish I had a lot more equipment, but we're doing it. We're getting there. Le year by year, we'll get a little more, a little bigger. I have a few. Next year, I'll probably get a tractor. Of course, if I stop a minute and look over there, those first three rows will be under a greenhouse or a high tunnel, as they call it. All these trees eventually will be under them. I get one a year for 10 years. And uh, the nice thing about it is they say they grow better, less bugs, um, better cherries. So I'm trying. We'll see. 
and for all you family members out there when they do come in uh, and they come in with a lot of cherries you guys want to stop up here and get you some uh, to the family they're free and good friends uh, the community that'll be for a nominal fee so but like I said we have four different cherries here they're uh, Rainiers, uh, they're Bings, and they're also Vans and Black Tortarians. They're all a dark sweet cherry, all of them. They're, some are, have different flavors, different colors, from almost a black to a dark red to a red, and then you got your yellow and kind of an orangish blush, as I call them. That's the Rainiers. But, like I said, as you can see now, we're into the younger trees, or the first year I planted. I planted these this spring, and uh, you can see what they're doing. They are doing phenomenal, unbelievable, the growth on these trees. So, I don't know. I'm hoping for a good spring next year, because if we get a good spring, we're going to flower. And when they flower, you're talking cherries. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping and a praying. So as you can see, these are smaller, but they're doing real good. They're, you know, I planted them this year and the branches on most of them are just, and they're still growing and it's great. So like I said on, early in the video, I'm learning as I go along and I, I'm loving what I'm seeing. So I just wished I would have done this 30 years ago I've probably probably would have been farther along and who knows don't know how far I'm gonna go with this adventure but I'm trying and you know somebody said to me I can't remember one what are you gonna try to do make it a mini Traverse City well I'd be a lot of work but we'll see how things go so that's what the orchard looks like so everything is looking good so well till next time oh and by the way you guys if you want to see all my videos I've uh, made a YouTube subscription so if you want to subscribe and uh, go to Heaven's Gates Cherry Farm on YouTube and you can see all these videos going to try and keep everybody informed of everything I'm doing. Hope everybody likes it. Bye.